Hello, this video is going to be about technocracy, uh, primarily through the lens of A Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Uh, I think it's fascinating that this book was written 90 years ago, and it's taken that long for one thing, for that world to come to pass in our current age, but uh, also that it's been 90 years and yet still it's coming to pass you know what i mean like we've had plenty of time to sort of think about this and instead it's been something that like 1984 was the thing that people have focused on so much instead of a brave new world which ultimately is the more accurate version of the predictable future that uh between the two authors was popularized now, uh, this is also sort of a shout out to the book and author uh, Patrick M. Wood and uh, Technocracy Rising. Um, there's also another book that he wrote, uh, The Hard Road to World Order, I think, uh, which is basically about uh, this, this whole issue of technocracy uh, and, and what essentially it means for society. Um, if you have never read A Brave New World, I highly suggest starting reading that and seeing if, you know, there's any similarities between what that book had to say and what is currently happening in the world today. Um, the other thing is listening to Aldous Huxley speak about the future, how we would be in love with our enslavement and subjugation uh, to this new dictatorship, the dictatorship of the future, as he called it, which wouldn't be with guns and tanks and so on and so forth, but with sort of a society that has become in love with its own enslavement and that the people would be so controlled mentally through propaganda, through the, the means which were relatively new at the time when he wrote this, uh, but which have become standard practice in the form of public relations in our modern era. Public relations is the term that Edward Bernays, the author of the book Propaganda, used to repackage his concept of propaganda. So whenever someone's using the term public relations, they're actually talking specifically about po propaganda. Propaganda, public relations, they're synonymous. They're basically the same thing. Now, what we now have today is basically a plutocracy of the elite who happen to run the government through the financial instruments that they control. Namely, the uh, Bill Gates, for instance, has the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The Rockefellers have the Rockefeller Foundation. These various entities which have enormous pools of wealth that are also... Uh, tend to be offshored and obfuscated in terms of uh, how much actual money is, is being funneled into them. But they have immense amounts of power politically because of this. And uh, Citizens United crystallized that political power in the form of uh, corporations being people so that they can have freedom of speech and that we are all essentially... Uh, given fealty through the political structure to these corporations. Uh, that's inherent to the, to the systemic structure of that. So it's actually a very uh, frightening reality when you, when you understand the, the overall sort of complexity of all of this, which is basically to suggest that all of humanity has become enslaved and imprisoned on this planet through these mechanisms. Uh, so what, what they did was they didn't... Uh, they didn't bring justice to Jeffrey Epstein. Instead, every, every human being on planet Earth has become enslaved and, and punished for being human. Um, so now we all have to wear masks, and if you don't get a vaccine, uh, according to the veterinarian style of um, medical legal dictatorship, from the WHO and World Health Organization, or uh, the, the UN and the WHO, the CDC, and all the other alphabet soups 
uh, then basically you're not a human anymore. You're a subhuman. Subhuman now. Because you have not complied with the guidelines that were set forth by institutions that have no accountability politically or otherwise to the people. And in fact, Gavi is completely politi uh, completely immune to any form of uh, government regulation in Switzerland, which is the vaccine alliance that Bill Gates set up for all of us to be sort of uh, conditioned to comply with. And he owns a good portion of the WHO itself, so he was able to rewrite different definitions uh, like pandemic and immunity so that the only way that you can have a pandemic is if it's a cold that can be spread worldwide, which is like anything. And the only way that you can become immune to it is through vaccination specifically and solely. You can't become naturally immune to any kind of disease anymore, according to the WHO and the CDC, basically because of the WHO and the CDC. So you, you basically have to submit to the vaccination program if you're going to be considered immunized. You can't be immune to anything naturally anymore. What a world to live in. Uh, the, the plutocrats have taken over the world. Plutocracy has, has literally become the world government at this point. And the, the general population, the 99%, are so inured and so controlled, so enslaved mentally, that they love it. This is the new normal for them. And those of us who don't comply, those of us who are not in complete enslavement mentally are the bad guys. We're the new terrorists, basically. Um, we have no rights, according to them, and we should actually be forced into compliance legally, according to them. The future is very dark, and I'm very saddened by what I'm seeing on a daily basis. And in fact, even the, even the groups that are trying to sort of organize against this do nothing more than potlucks and meet and greets instead of organizing and becoming much more than just uh, what they do anyway. So I've lost faith in, in the resistance as well. Because the, there is no resistance. The resistance is tacit resistance. It's, it's a pretend resistance. It's an attempt to sort of feel good about we're resisting. But there's no actual active resistance to the situation that's going on. The only way to actually resist this is to do it politically, nonviolently. According to the, to the works of Gene Sharp and others who, who have actively resisted these kinds of uh, systems... It's actually uh, really disappointing to see that. But in any case, uh, my hope is that obviously, you know, this can be averted somehow through resistance. And I encourage everyone who watches this, even though it's probably only going to be a few people, uh, to actively try to resist this. Because... If you are watching this and you have watched all the way through this and you agree with any of the stuff that I've said, you are the resistance. You're it. In any case, I'm going to make another video probably talking about uh, the overarching solution that I've come up with to all of this uh, in an attempt to sort of streamline it. Streamline it. I do this because I love humanity. I don't I don't want to get anything out of this. Like I don't I don't want money. I see that as an illusion anyway. I just want humanity to be free, genuinely. I just want humanity to be free finally from all of this shit because it's always it's always been in the pipeline. It's always been coming. I've been seeing this be the case for over a decade now. Well over a decade. And 
and there just doesn't seem to be any awareness. Love and appreciation.